Alright, welcome back to part two of our video series. And my name is Kamiya Simon Peter. And let us proceed. So we are looking at view view native comprehensively. And this is part two. Now I've just cleared the whole app template. And this is the reason why. I want us to see what are the basics that view wants. Now they don't differ so much from view native. Uh, the only thing here is um one you need to have a template okay so you need to have a template now uh of course i have this uh the snippets that uh give me things by default but um uh, there's nothing to do so if i save and i come back uh, to our a video of course i have an error because we do not have any content in the snippet here all right so what what does it expect so apart from that the other thing we expect to have a script okay so we expect to have a script and in this script that's where our content is going to be running okay and then lastly we expect to have a style component a style sheet okay uh, it's not a component uh, let me not confuse it with a component now there's a difference between style scope and just style we shall come to that and these are the three things that make up view or that will give you view native now because this is view which means if you already even have knowledge from this you understand view uh, at the other side but i'm going to uh, we're going to concentrate on the mobile side however you can look up for my tutorials on view in general uh with the view cli i'm going to create those i haven't created them yet um, but i'm going to create them soon because i realize now uh, even there things need to be simple all right so uh we do not expect anything here uh even when i refresh okay we need to give this something now we're still bringing the icon i i do think it's still loading now inside this you need something called a view now a view is like you having a div okay now in view in view we create a div we can even have a div with bootstrap we also have beautify our view uh, bootstrap okay but here we create a view okay we create a view because we are relying on react native and react native loads views now the difference here in react native you will have to come here and import each element that you want to import okay uh maybe view okay from react native from react native that's how it would be but here you do not need to because they are templates that come in with view itself but however time will come and we need to input certain modules that are external of view and export it's very when we need to use react native or export dedicated modules now the next thing we need we want to display a text so we call the text template now i'm used to react native where some of these components are in uh, camel casing but uh here uh, sometimes you don't need camel casing on certain components but i'll follow the camera casing and we'll see if we get an error well and good however it's green there so uh this could be welcome to baby me welcome to baby me baby me is the app that we're trying to run and then i save okay so when i come here of course we have it up there welcome to baby me but it's up there where we do not need it now there are very many things that we can look at we have the scroll uh the scroll view and gestures and whatsoever we have the safe area but we shall come back to those later however let's see now how we are going to sell this to come to the center now before i even talk about that uh i encourage you to come and look at the documentation the documentation is straight and clear you can read through whenever you need to consult for example uh, i'm just going to explain this uh why we need the script but however i've explained now the template 
uh, I'm going to explain the script and then right now I'm going to the style. If you go down, okay, to the next uh, declarative rendering, we're going to see how you can render this uh, message uh, of the function into the script. So that will be our next step. So you can follow the, follow the documentation and I'll be consulting it over and over again. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and we continue now. Now we can decide to style the text here using the style component. Okay. Style is equal. Now, if you are in React, you will have to do this. Okay. And if I try it here, okay, let me say, and I say that I want to align okay the items now in react it would be like this okay so i want to align the item and i'm going to align it to the center okay and then i put a comma now if i save okay i expect to get an error so even i put equals i expect to get errors as you can see but what we're supposed to do here, we're supposed to style, okay, and equate it, for example, to, now I'm going to choose maybe color, okay, so that I get the color of the text, and then I make it red, and then I save, okay, let's see what we have here. So you can see that our text is red, but now I want to move everything here to the center. Let me uh, minimize this so that whatever we change, we can see the other side. So we have the text up there. I can change the color uh, again to another color. Let me see, maybe orange. I usually use Adobe colors and you can see it's now orange. But I need all this text into this center because now the text is within the view, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to style uh, the, the view itself. So the first thing I'm going to do maybe, I need to make sure that everything here covers the whole screen but the, what i'm going to do i'm going to first justify okay if i do cut camel crossing content this will be react native here what we do justify and then a uh, hyphen and then content okay and then i put a colon then center okay so i can save but now we need to give it a page or like make sure we, that we seal the whole page so i'm going to put um now this is what they call in uh, uh i call it inward styling or it styles within the component it doesn't go to the cell down here okay so i'm going to terminate okay and then you see this kind of styling is different from the thing that we're going to be following here and then i'm going to put a flex so a flex i'm like uh, giving it the space for the board that it should cover so a flex of one i'll cover flex in detail okay in the third video uh the fourth video sorry this is the second video um but i'm going to also to talk about this kind of styling here all right so and then i do now i want this to be i want this to be in the center of the screen so i can uh, choose to do a line align content align content which i know that is wrong but i'm doing it to show you something so align content center okay then i save the app crashes so what is it supposed to be okay align content so the thing is it's supposed to be a line of now the reason why the app is crashing is because here i've put a comma i'm used to the other kind of styling Instead, it's supposed to be a termination. All right, so I'm going to close the app, then go back and launch it again. And then we'll see what we have. So the reason the app was crashing is because I was putting a comma instead of a termination. But what I want to show you is that align contents won't give us anything. Instead, it's supposed to be align items. Now, the items that are within the view center and you can see they pick up to the center so thank you so much for watching this video let me go to the next video and we talk about styling uh, let's meet in the next video